Stavanger Universität Jukerhus has the world's first accurate positioning system in an emergency room. Equipment, employees and patients can be tracked using simple tags with an accuracy of less than 50 centimeters in the empathic building. We implemented location tracking and sensor technology so we can learn about its capabilities for our use cases. We aim to use this technology in the future in the new hospitals that we are building. But first, we have to learn how the information we receive from the sensors can be used in everyday operations. As an example, we can locate our ultrasound equipment by typing U-L-T-R-A. The results display our four pieces of ultrasound equipment and we can select the one we are looking for. The screen will then center on this, which in a busy workday is a lot easier than looking into 13 different rooms with patients in to try to locate the equipment. For us, this solution is very important in gaining better control of rooms and equipment. We focused on three main aspects. First of all, we searched the market for a supplier with this kind of competence. We then wanted to make a digital twin of our building with a 3D model. Haltian had a great solution for this, with short implementation period, which enabled us to get started quickly. The final aspect was how to use this technology in our everyday operations, and we are still working on this with several different use cases. The system was installed in our emergency room during normal operation. The result is a several hundred square meter emergency room, where the green areas indicate where we currently have coverage. The user interface is pretty intuitive when you first start using the software. It will be exciting to see how this will be used in the future. The Empathic building is unique in the sense that it combines all kinds of digital information from many suppliers. For example, location tracking, temperature control or if our equipment needs maintenance. Our ultimate goal is to get more out of our daily operations and care for our patients. We look forward to seeing how the sensors can also help us to support the treatment of our patients in the future. The experience so far is that this really has potential. We still haven't reached our final goals, but we are getting closer and closer every day.